Previously in part one of rearing queens with the cell punch method, we saw some of the different steps needed to raise queens. First, let's take a look at the equipment needed. It's very important to have sufficient resources, not just plenty of hardware and woodenware such as the matey nukes with the tops and bottoms. You'll also need plenty of frames and foundation. But you also need plenty of bees. Plenty of bees to go along with the frame of capped brood, the frame of honey, and the frame of pollen for each of the matey nukes. Alright, this is the cell starter hive. It's actually a deep five frame nuke that has screen sides and screen bottom to it. Now it is a deep box but I've been using mediums so it gives them plenty of room you can pack a lot of bees in here of course when you pack a lot of bees in here you do need to keep them uh, hydrated and here's some water and a sponge that I use if you're using the cell punch method you need to make or buy tools such as this there are several videos on the cell punch method Jason Chrisman also known as JC's Bees on YouTube has some excellent instructional videos on the cell punch tool and rearing queens. Today is April 16th and uh, the cell, queen cells should be capped by now or very close to being capped if not and, and uh, I've got the queen bar in this third one, two, three, and the third box up. These top two are honey supers. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll take the honey supers off, go down into the third box. I just want to just gently lift and peek and see how many queen cells that they're working so that I'll know how many queenless nukes to make. And um, anyway, let's go open it up. All right, checking the queen bar here. One frame out. Smoke them one more time here. Just, I don't think they're. I don't think they're aggressive at all. I just want to make sure their their senses are confused. See that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and I was excited about the number of large, robust queen cells that were developed in the cell finisher hive. Yeah. 14 nice looking queen cells from a start of 20 cell punches. Right. Now what I'm going to do is go down and remove the... Uh, Queen excluder. Today is May 8th. The queen cells were placed in these nukes on April 17th. All right, I've just taken the top off of one of these hives here. I'm going to just remove one of these frames. They've not really there's not really enough bees in here to to do anything with with them yet at this time they've not really had time for any new brood to emerge yet I was however a bit disappointed in the number of mated egg laying queens that resulted a... from 20 cell punches to 14 queen cells resulting with four mated queens I had hoped for better results. I believe that a major cause of the low number of mated queens was perhaps the location and or 
replacement of my mating nukes. Seven of the nukes were in a straight line and I may have lost the queens due to drifting when returning from a mating flight in addition to expected loss due to becoming dinner to a predator.